Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be evaluating a radical expression. We evaluated a radical expression just today, right? But that was slightly different. We squared both sides or we looked at some radicals, so on and so forth. This is going to be a little different, even though there are some relations between those two problems. I just thought these are really nice problems anyways. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be presenting two methods, even though we have a breakdown in the first method, kind of like a 1a and 1b, because we're going to be looking at it from two different angles. So first method. So what was the question, first of all, right? <laughs> so we're given x plus square root of x equals 1. We're supposed to evaluate x plus 1 over square root of x. It's kind of like weird. We have an expression made up of two pieces, and we invert one of these, like flip, and then we, we try to find the answer that way. Hmm, interesting. Hopefully you find it interesting too. So 1a. So 1a is about solving this equation by using substitution. Of course, substitution rocks, right? So let square root of x equal u. And obviously u is positive, x is positive. I don't think x equals 0 is going to work here, right? You've seen that. So they are positive. And in that case, u squared plus u equals 1. And... Do you see what I see? The golden ratio, maybe? Something like that? Anyways, so from here, it becomes what? Negative 1 plus minus the square root of 5 over 2. There are two solutions, obviously. And one of them is negative 1 plus root 5 over 2. Let's call it u sub 1. And u sub 2, negative 1 minus root 5 over 2. But remember what we said about u. Not about u, it's the letter u. But if it's your birthday, happy birthday, to you. Uh, we said that u is positive, so we're not going to be able to take, unfortunately, sorry you, sorry, we got to let you go. Okay, so this is valid, hopefully. That is the solution I'm going to use. But this is u, and u is square root of x, right? Is that right? Square root of x. Okay, good. u is square root of x, so let's go ahead and set square root of x equal to this. And I want to write it this way. It just looks better that way because I have OCD. So what am I going to do from here? Hmm, maybe square both sides? Yeah, I think that's going to help. Let's see. If I square both sides, I get x equals. This squared is going to be 5 plus 1, 6, minus 2 root 5 over 4. I think in uh, the other problem we did today, like two hours ago maybe, uh, we did the opposite, right? We took 6 minus 2 root 5, and then we square rooted it, when we got square root of 5 minus 1, which is nice because we did the opposite. Okay, so these problems are somewhat related. So x equals that, what am I going to do? Okay, simplify. 3 minus root 5 over 2. Great. Always simplify. And always rationalize the denominator. Unless uh, there's a good reason why you wouldn't. What am I going to do with this x? What am I finding? See, it's all, always important to keep focus. Like, don't lose focus. You're trying to evaluate x plus 1 over root x. Okay. I need x plus 1 over root x. And I do know that, uh, I do know the x value. Great. So this is what I need. Good, good to know. So I do need the square root of x, but I already know it. Square root of x was this, right? Let's just keep it here. And this is x. So let's go ahead and put it together. x plus 1 over square root of x. Uh-oh, I got to revert it or invert it or reciprocate it or whatever, whatever the right word is. Root 5 plus 1, root 5 plus 1. Rationalize the denominator. I already told you. This is 4. 2 goes into 4 twice, and you get 3 minus root 5 over 2 plus root 5 plus 1 over 2. And guess what? Root 5 cancels out. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 over 2 is 2. Uh-oh. That was easy, right? Uh, sort of. So the answer seems to be 2, but let's go ahead and do 1b. Uh, I should do 2b. Maybe switch the methods. 2b or not 2b. Anyways, for 1b, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and solve this quadratic. Remember, with the first method, we just use substitution, right? With the 1b, uh, we're going to do, we're going to solve the problem in a different way, the radical equation. Uh, x is positive, don't forget that. And isolate x, square root of x I mean, hopefully you know what I mean. And then square both sides. So this is different method. The first one was just, um, you know, substitution. This is different, square both sides. But obviously, when you square both sides, you know, some extraneous solutions might creep in. Put the x on the same side like this, and you get a quadratic equation. And solving this quadratic equation is going to give you the value of x. 
La last time we got the value of square root of x and then we had to square it. Remember, you're going to get the x directly. The quadratic formula tells us x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared 9 minus 4, which is 5, so on and so forth. Yay, this number looks familiar, if you remember the first method. Okay, which one am I going to use? Again, we can split up 3 plus root 5 over 2. And then from here, square root of x is going to be square root of 3 plus root 5 over 2. And as before, we can just do the 2 trick, right? And this becomes root 5 plus 1 over 2. So that is my square root of x. And I'm supposed to add x plus 1 over square root of x. So that's going to be, or I should probably write it here. That doesn't look good. x plus 1 over square root of x is going to be 3 plus root 5 over 2 plus 1 over square root of x is going to be this. But multiply by conjugates. And these two are going to cancel out. And we're going to have a 2 at the bottom. And x plus 1 over square root of x is going to be 3 plus root 5 over 2 plus root 5 minus 1 over 2. Root 5 is not going to cancel out. Uh-oh. 2 root 5 plus 2 over 2. Root 5 plus 1. Uh-oh, with the first method, we got the answer as 2, but now we got a different answer. So either there are two possible answers, or we messed up. Or maybe we didn't mess up, but we need to check something. All right, so here's the problem. Y, X equals this is not a good solution. I'm going to go ahead and explain that to you now. X equals 3 plus root 5 over 2 is no good because I'm going to explain that right now. Remember, in our original problem, we had x plus root x equals 1, and from here, root x equals 1 minus x. Root x is positive, therefore 1 minus x is positive, therefore x is less than 1, but this number is not less than 1. 3 plus root 5 over 2 is greater than 1, and I think you're going to agree with me on that, right? Hopefully. So this solution is this, uh, disregarded or discarded or trash, whatever. It doesn't work. <laughs> Who cares? So now we're going to go with this. And just to give you a quick result, without further ado, that's what you're going to get. You know the drill. Come on. It's, gonna, it's the same thing over and over. I don't think you want me to repeat all those steps. That's going to be super boring. But anyways, if you revert x, like this is square root of x, this is 1 over square root of x. Remember, uh, there, is a, <laughs> there are reciprocals that, and also conjugates. So... What am I getting from here? Root 5 cancels out, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Yay, success! We got the same answer. Beautiful. Now, the more beautiful part is going to be the second method, in my opinion. And don't worry about the first method because it's long, uh, it's not very elegant, but that's okay. It is a method. It works. That's what, it ma that's what matters. <laughs> so, here's how the second method works. So, remember, we were given this and we're supposed to evaluate this. So when you look at these two numbers, first of all, this is 1, this is 1. This is square root of x, this is square root of x. Hmm, that's good, actually. Uh-oh, uh -oh, graph is coming up, so I only have this much space. No worries, we're going to take care of this. So now here's what we're going to do. From here, from the first equation, I want to isolate something. What do I want to isolate? Actually, not isolate, but I want to factor out square root of x. So I'll write it like this, right? You see what I did? Factor square root of x. Yay, that's... Super smart, right? Uh, it's not, uh, you know, I'm not taking the credit here, but it's a good method. So from here, we can isolate uh, 1 over square root of x, and then we can take this and plug in here and see what happens. x plus, instead of 1 over square root of x, I'm going to write root x plus 1. But x plus root x is 1 because it's given a member. So this sum is 2. The answer is 2 again. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two functions. And you're going to realize y equals x plus square root of x uh, and y equals 1 intersect at a single point. But I show you both points. This one was not valid, remember, because it made the, uh, we, it caused a problem um, with x. X, must, uh, x was supposed to be less than 1. And I also graphed y equals square root of x uh, for comparison. You can kind of see when you add, uh oh, that looks like an alpha. So uh, that's the square root of x. And as you can see, when you add x to square root of x, that kind of makes it more x-y or whatever, you know, just um, brings it up. All right. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.